Hi y'all, so I gotta redo my August wrap-up video because the telephone rang and I thought it was one of my parents and it was just a telemarketer. So, here we go with take number two. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. The books that I read this month for August were Second Glance by Joey Picow. I really like, I rated this four stars because the ending was too open to me, so, but I really liked that it was about an, a developer wanting to build an Indian burial ground, a strip mall, because that was kind of like how that happened in my area, so I could relate to that, that story very much. Um, this book was given to me by, by my friend Erica back in February. She's getting rid of a bunch of books. So, I'm really glad she gave me this one, even though I rated it four stars. I did like the story, though. Okay, the next book I read this month was The Wife Who Knew Too Much by Michelle Campbell. I really liked this one. It kept me on the edge of my seat the whole time. I rated it five stars. So, I would highly recommend this if you're looking for a good thriller, mystery, suspense story to read. Next book I read this month was The Trader's Pawn by Lisa Harris. This was about an FBI agent who arrives in Corpus Christi, Texas. He is um, focused on one thing, finding the man who's been selling cryptic government secrets to the Chinese, which was an actual news report a few years ago. So I love that that book um, incorporated that. I rated it five stars because of that, which I thought was really cool. Next book I read was Dear John by Nicholas Sparks. I read this five stars. I really love this book. I thought it was a really good contemporary romance. Even though I've seen the movie several times, I feel like the book is better than the movie, except for one part in the movie where they're building a house. But other than that, I thought that was a really good book. I also read Because of Wind Dixie by... Kate DeCamelo. This was given to me for a Christmas gift when I was 12 years old by my grandparents. You can see my grandma signed it. So I thought that that was really sweet of her. I still love this book. It had been like 10 years since I last read it, but I still love this book. I rated it. I rated it five stars. Next book I read was The Mockingbird Song by Wandy Brunsetter. I really love this book. I rated it five stars. I thought it was better than book one. If you like a mystery, if you like an Amish fiction book with a little mystery to it, then this book is definitely for you to read. It's so good. Okay, the next book I read was The Happy Camper by Melody Carlson. This is a contemporary romance about a girl named Dylan who... After a hard breakup with her fian used to be fiance, um, she goes home to her to visit her aging grandfather, who is still mourning the death of his wife. Um, and she helps him on the farm with her mom, and her grandfather gives her this old camper, as pictured on the cover, um, to live in. So she remodels it as her own and. And she also finds love in the story, so I thought that was really sweet. Okay, the next book I read this month was Sweet Dreams at the Goodnight Motel by Curtis Ann Matlock. I really love this book. I rated it five stars. It was a chiclet book about a woman who is looking for a real life. And it also has a cozy mystery vibe to it, which I really loved. So I rated this five stars. I um, I hope to continue this series in the future. The other book I read this month was uh, Flight of Fancy by Lori Alice Eakes. This one I rated five stars because it reminded me of Pride and Prejudice meets Downton Abbey TV show. The characters were really easy to get to know. The setting was beautifully described. It made you feel like you were actually in the story with the characters, which I love when an author does that. Not very many authors do that, but when they do, I that's why I end up loving their books. So, um, and the other book I... Oh, I rated that five stars, too. 
The other one I read was Out of Embers by Amanda Kabat. It's in it's book one in the Mesquite Springs series. It's set in Mesquite Springs, Texas in the in eighteen fifties. Um after an an orphan, Evelyn, is homeless ten years after her parents' death, she decides to travel to Texas with her sister. Twist plot twist. It's not really her sister. I was so shocked about that, but I and that's one reason why I rated it five stars. But it's a really good historical romance book that if you love reading about the 1850s in Texas or any southern state, this book is definitely for you. I can't wait to read book two next year. The other book I've, I'm, I'm still reading. I haven't finished it yet. But as you can see, I'm not that far from being done with it. Love on the Line by Deanne Geist. So far, I'm loving it. It was a little slow for me in the beginning, but I'm really loving the story now. And I will more than likely rate that five stars as well. The other books I read this month that I don't have physical copies of were the audiobook of The Good Girl, the audiobook of... Okay, I'm back. I had to get my list of the other books I read this month that I don't have physical copies of. And those ones were The Girl Girl by The Good Girl by Mary Kubica. It was an audiobook I had to listen to for Bookish Jeopardy. I rated it five stars. The narration with that book was very British like and I love that so much since my grandma is originally from England, and she has great nephews and a niece that still live over there. So to me, British accents are just so mesmerizing and to me and so soothing. So I rated that five stars. Oh, I read Alex and Eliza um, by M Melissa De La Cruz. De La Diaz, I think. I can't remember. Um... I actually wanted a physical copy of that book, but I got an ebook copy of it from my friend Debbie Bunker Bellows from Weeby Booking. And I really enjoyed that book. It was, it's my favorite historical, classic historical fiction retelling I've ever read. It's amazing. I cannot wait to read book two next year because I don't think I can fit book two in this year. Plus, I don't have book two yet, so that's on my Amazon wish list. I'm hoping to get it for Christmas this year. Fingers crossed. Okay, the other books I read this month were... Oh, The Summer Deal by... Jill Shelves, I rated that five stars. I really felt like that book was, very, that audiobook was very amazing. It made me feel like I was at an actual pool or ocean while I was listening to the story. It was a very comical story too, but overall I loved the contemporary family feel to it. And is why I rated it five stars. And the other book I read that I didn't have a physical copy of was The Dream Daughter by Diana Chamberlain. Now, The Dream Daughter, I've always wanted to read when my book club and booktube friend, um, Jacqueline Wheeler uh, at All About the Wheelers booktube channel, when she put it in one of her videos that she had read it, and it was the first historical fiction book that she's enjoyed in a long time, I was like, oh, I need to read it or listen to it. So I read the ebook for a prop for Bookish Jeopardy, and I love the book as well. I would definitely like to get the physical copy to keep because it's such a touching, sweet, touching, yet sad story. But overall, I loved it. I thought it was really great, and I will definitely be reading more by Diana in the very near future. I rated that one five stars as well. So total this month, I read 18 books. 
I know, that's like a lot. But no family reunions this summer. No visiting family out, out of state this summer. No family vacation this summer. It had So I took myself on a little reading adventure to several places that I really, really enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoy my August wrap-up video. And I hope to film my September video here in a few minutes. So I hope you guys enjoy all my videos that I've posted today. Let me know in the comments below what you think of them. And honesty is the best policy. So if you don't like something in my video, just kindly let me know. And I, I'll either stop doing it or I won't film about it or talk about it anymore or whatever. Thanks again. See you guys later. Bye.